In an executive spotlight conversation, Maxar Technologies Public Sector Vice President of Strategic Growth John Love, discussed important recent contract wins for Maxar, went in-depth on the company's Earth Intelligence and Earth Observation Tools and Strategies, and more. Guidehouse has won a prime position on the Department of Veterans Affairs Accelerating VA Innovation and Learning Program. The Small Business Administration and the Department of Defense have launched an initiative to drive investments in critical technologies that are key to national security. Andrew Hallman, Vice President of National Security Strategy and Integration at Periton, and a previous WASH 100 awardee, said intelligence agencies looking to use emerging technologies to maintain their edge over adversaries should develop a secure digital foundation by transitioning to secure cloud environments that could help them make better use of data. Softrams has created an advisory board meant to provide guidance on strategic growth and leadership to the company's executive team. Mark Henry, who joined Jacobs in 2015, has been elevated to the positions of Division Vice President and Deputy General Manager at the company's Missile Defense Group. Five small businesses have secured contracts under the U.S. Army Small Business Innovation Research Program to develop next-generation technologies in support of live military training and aircraft floor modernization. The U.S. Army has tapped a Sarcos Technology and Robotics Unit to test its robotic ammunition system for the service branch's ammunition handling and maneuvering. Join GovConWire's Events Space Acquisition Forum on January 18, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. The Department of Energy has identified 111 energy service companies that are qualified for the government's multi-tiered energy savings performance contracting program. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is seeking proposals for the Advanced Aircraft Infrastructure Less, Launch and Recovery, or Ancillary Project.